एक फैक्ट है जो तुम्हें हैरान कर देगा एंड दैट इज फियर ऑफ पब्लिक स्पीकिंग देर इज अ सर्वे कंडक्टेड इन द यू एस ए इन विच पीपल वर आस्ट अबाउट वट स्केयर्ड देम द मोस्ट यू वॉन्ट बिलीव नंबर टू वॉज डेथ बिकॉज नंबर वन वॉज पब्लिक स्पीकिंग सो इन दिस सेशन लमिका मैम एंड आई डिस्कस्ड सम स्मॉल टिप्स विच विल हेल्प यू इन योर पब्लिक स्पीकिंग such as the way we think and the way we speak the pace we speak we have to make an alignment between the process of thinking and the pace of speaking like this so this is just an example like this we have shared a little ideas and techniques and tips which will help you in your public speaking so just watch the entire session today been how have how have you been what's new what's happening Hi, everything is Hi, good. Everything. I am good. I am fit. I am fit. And uh, yeah, done with my to-do list too. <laughs> Thank you. Very particular about your to-do list. I like that. <laughs> yeah. And how's the weekend looking? Any we plans for the weekend? Try the. Oh, I don't even special plans. No, it's Friday. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe the similar routine I'll follow. Uh, maybe on Sunday it could be little. There could be a little change. Otherwise, yeah. okay, okay. No different plans for Saturday. Okay, Sunday maybe something different. Okay, so uh, Rajni, today's uh, topic. is uh, public speaking do you want to talk about that or do you want to do something else related to pronunciation vocabulary what would you like to do uh i would love to discuss this topic this is i guess very fascinating one public speaking other and okay. after this after the discussion you can tell me the words which i pronounce mispronounce during the session okay cool cool i think public speaking is something which you would really enjoy and being a jnu student all the more reason i guess that uh, public speaking is something which is uh, quite a interesting topic for you right yes yes, yes. so have you uh, do you like public speaking have you done any kind of speech or uh, in your school or your college days a kind of a podium and spoken to people like uh, etc mhm uh, i like public speaking very much and i haven't done after school like i used to do in school not much but i guess two times i have given a speech on stage at that mm -hmm. time it was not difficult i guess because uh, we prepared first and then i delivered the speech there uh with the help of a teacher but now mm -hmm. it become really difficult for me but i would mm -hmm. love to do that uh however i haven't done it yet after the schools yes but i love because it is the nice way to deliver your ideas and motivate others and fuel them so it is kind of a critical skill uh, we should learn so i love that okay so what according to you do do you think everybody should uh, learn that skill of public speaking is it important why so uh yes uh, in today's world it is important i guess because now we mostly our careers are based on skills and in which mm -hmm. i guess public speaking comes on number 4 like if you can grab attention your audience attention you can motivate them or you can add values in their life then this is you are you have super powers i guess you can do whatever you want because grabbing attention is the biggest challenge in today's world okay so i think uh, everyone should learn this skill in order to thrive and if even they are in uh, working in a company if they are working anywhere they have to present themselves in a good mm. way it is not just like to uh, go and uh, motivate others it is sometimes like you have to give a presentation in front of 10 to 15 people for the bigger project you want to have the big project with other companies so for that also you need good uh, communication skills 
so i think it is required now everyone should learn that okay yeah valid point because it's not just students it's not uh, just uh, doing it for the sake of academic purposes right in school it was more of an academic purpose that elocution competition or uh, assembly during my days i remember mondays would be assembly and you would be given a topic every monday a particular class would be given a topic and some students had to present so it was more of an academic uh, interest rather than uh you know actually public speaking yeah so i guess it's important that as a working professional as a student generally also it's important to learn public speaking skills so do you know that um, research says that public speaking is one of the most you know people fear one of the biggest fears is public speaking I have know you read that. about that yes yeah, yeah the survey yeah. that people say and yeah people were asked about their uh, what scares them the Big most fear. yes yeah yes. yeah yeah <laughs> isn't that, it surprising that that's one yes it is so, why do you think that that's so scary for most people i guess this handling public is the difficult task to do that's why it is i guess a uh, first fear and uh, like talking to one person or with family member it is just cake walk but once you when you go on a stage and uh, you have fear you have uh, the mindset like people will judge you people will or maybe if you are uh, going there they will reject you maybe they will uh, if you like uh, even without thinking if you say something wrong a little bit uh, bias towards anything then they also start they can start screaming there they can start uh, doing bad things with you so there are a lot of things because public is something powerful we cannot mm. handle it. So anyone like everyone it is not everyone's case for a cup of tea to do mm yeah that's true so the, the, do you think uh, by practicing public speaking do you build your confidence levels or what about stage fright there's something called stage fright which a lot of people are afraid of how do you handle these things uh, when when you're do, uh, giving a lecture or addressing a huge crowd what about stage fright have you experienced it uh no i haven't experienced it but yeah i think it is because first we don't accept ourselves like the the fear comes when we doubt ourselves like i can not do this i don't have the potential to do this second thing is it is a lack of uh, knowledge when you are not up to mark you are lacking somewhere so i think that can be removed if you first do your research read some research papers second thing you can inculcate some habits of uh, doing um, relaxation activities like breathing exercises before going to stage so that you can make yourself calm and composed you can collect your thoughts and go and do your um what else yeah so and third thing like some people have this fear because sometimes they think faster and speak a little slower and some people have like they think little slower they get words very slowly they speak little faster and in that case yeah. they use filler a lot of fillers it happens with me yeah. too so <laughs> in that case we can do the writing practice i guess writing practice will make us to think and deliver the content at a proper pace because we need to uh, have an alignment with thinking and speaking i guess which that is my main point yeah hmm. so like this we can a little bit uh, mitigate that problem okay fine so research is very important if you have to be a confident speaker the knowledge about the topic uh, is quite important so researching the topic thoroughly uh, i think is a key factor when you're going out there and speaking of course confidence delivering it with confidence that is something 
and anxiety like you uh, rightly pointed out dealing with anxiety do some meditation do some breathing exercises even now before a presentation <laughs> rajni i do my breathing exercises like inhale uh, you know deeply and hold your breath and exhale i do that and it really works at least for me uh, it works so yeah. that's those are some really good points uh, rajni for somebody who is into public speaking who want to you know get into the arena of public speaking yes given a choice what are the kind of topics you would like to speak on if you had to address an audience what, what would be the few topics which would really excite you interest you and you would like to speak on those topics i don't like one thing that is when people don't accept themselves first and then walk they want to just run away from that particular situation and particular feeling emotion so i would like to guide on that first like if, if we are talking about public speaking so in public speaking nervousness and fear of going in front of uh, the audience it is very natural even if you are a bigger person you have achieved a lot of things in your life still this nervousness will be there because you are a human being okay so you have to accept that but what you can mm. do in order to avoid that just start doing something start accept accept that and start doing the exercise and follow some activities different activities that soothe you okay so in that case some people if they have emotional breakdown they don't want to accept that if you accept that and then you start working on that that will work but if you are just continuously trying to run just trying to run away from that situation and emotion that will become really a big problem in future for you because that will disturb you mentally in uh, when mm. you are in other profession or with uh, in other relationship same uh, with career also students nowadays because uh, many in india i i don't remember the percentage of it but it is uh, 65% around 65% people don't have skills at all but they are just studying studying they are just following the path like you have to study hard but in this world you need to work on your skills too and if they are mm. not getting a particular job because there are not a lot of vacancies not everyone can get job even though he is or he or she is very good at academics it is not possible that everyone will get job so we need to work mm. on skills simultaneously but when they don't get this job particular job they feel like i am dumb i cannot do anything they lose mm. hope proper, like entirely they feel like i can not do this but if they have a little if they start working simultaneously on skills they can try to so these are the major things i i would love to give speech okay okay very nice so you are talking about inspirational speeches right uh, public speaking involves there are various types of public speaking like you may know one is educational you're talking about education actually imparting knowledge the second one is entertaining one the third one is inspirational like you are uh, interested in right inspiring people yeah that's great and what about storytelling uh, rajni there's an element of storytelling is that important does that capture your audience's attention if you also incorporate a bit of storytelling in your uh, public speaking yes you really mentioned a nice point here yes uh, as i already mentioned you the bombardment of content nowadays now it is difficult to grab attention so if i am mm. giving a speech like a monotonous speech never give up do this do this it will work for you and you have potential there is a monotonous speech they will feel little bored like okay it is similar thing that will not make much effect on my audience so i guess this is another a good segment we should add while delivering our speech the story yes because, that. <laughs> yeah, because i have also realized while uh, training a lot of students when i do my sessions i realize that uh, when you incorporate when you weave in uh, real life examples when you uh, talk about stories which which has impacted your life the audience connects quickly yes, otherwise connect. like you mentioned it's a very boring session for them they're just sitting there mentally they are somewhere else and physically they are there so storytelling and sharing examples of your life and real life examples 
really works wonders when when you want to grab their attention yes absolutely yes yeah so we'll uh, we will look at uh, are there some uh, really inspiring orators you you admire and you look up to them rashni mm -hmm. yes uh, one is uh, barack obama jay shetty malala yousafzai yeah i listen to them malala yousafzai i heard a lot of speeches right uh what about since you are a little bit spiritually inclined what about sadguru and what about god gopal das like there is a little you know i want to know the difference with some people they like some people are motivational speakers public speakers spiritual one so like i i listen gor gopal das sadguru and uh, shivani shivani kind i i don't know exact name shivani and uh, yeah so i listen to them too but what is the difference between motivational speaker and public speaker <laughs> <laughs> see a uh, public speaking is if you look at the very uh, basic definition it is about addressing an audience a huge mm -hmm. audience Yes, yeah, that is public mm -hmm. speaking. Now you can break it down to the content. What is the mm -hmm. content the uh, the orator is talking about? It could be a political rally, it could be a promotion of a product or some launch of a new product. You could speak mm -hmm. about that. It could be motivational. It could be educational. So it depends. You know, when uh, Sadhguru is addressing a huge rally. it is public speaking but it is the content he is delivering is spiritual and motivational yeah, so the content so. could be different but addressing a huge crowd and speaking about something that mm -hmm. can be considered as a public speaking uh, platform right okay yeah. so let us uh, look at uh, the uh, feedback part rajni yeah sure yeah. okay uh okay so the o words little bit again okay i'm typing the <laughs> you i can see that smile on your face <laughs> okay so okay i'm typing the words in the chat box and if you could read it for me please major major okay now you said it right uh, earlier it became something different okay major okay yeah major. Mm -hmm. yeah. major yeah order order order, order. order. Uh, not o not o o oh. order uh, order yes order not order order is different order. okay there is a word called order i'm typing that this is order okay. dirty smell <laughs> Okay. okay. Bad order, order. right? Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's order. This is order. Okay. Job. Job. Now you said it right. At that point, it became job. 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 Ha. Huh. Job. Job. Okay. Uh, and uh, okay. What else? Uh, ha. Huh. Audience. audience audience name audience o oh. in yes. o oh. not o oh. Aud audience yes audience okay yeah and uh, you could use a phrase called bag a major deal you said that uh, you you could also do public speaking for a brand and when you're doing presentation to get a deal a better word could be bag a major deal or project bagging a major it's a phrase get instead of saying get that deal you can say bag that deal okay. a better way of putting it across okay and uh, you said somewhere uh, like this like this we can do or we can say something so instead of saying like this you can put it in a better way that in such a way or in such a manner like this is very basic mm -hmm. yeah, na like this we can do so a better way would be in this manner or or in such a way we can 
blah 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 whatever mm-hmm. and in front of an audience it's not wrong you can also say facing an audience when we are facing an audience or when we are in front of an audience also okay but you can also say when facing an audience instead of repeating in front of an audience in front of an audience you can also use alternatively when we are facing an audience theek okay? hai we alternates and uh, somewhere you said uh, mentioned you so the two got missed out mentioned to you mentioned i mentioned you ha huh, i already mentioned you i mentioned to you okay and uh, yeah again the two was missed listen to sadguru listen when we listen sadguru when we listen to sad theek hai so uh, okay another word uh, rajni here dumb uh, could you can you see the dumb. word dumb sorry dumb. ha so <laughs> you are thinking about something <laughs> what was that <laughs> okay no. so it is it is dumb no b yes the b is silent mm-hmm. got yeah, it yeah i was i was remembering uh, once i saw alina ray's video with sandeep meshwari search channel on ah. his uh, yeah YouTube. so yeah, she channel. heard dumb and uh, one word was plumber 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 yes, it is so, not plumber it is plumber, it is plumber. again i typed another word for you कॉम कॉम हा अगेन द ब इज साइलेंट कॉम सो मेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस रजनी दैट वेन एवर देर इज एन एम बी वर्ड राइट द बी बी साइलेंट ओके गॉट इट कॉम या कॉम डम कॉम वन से हा दिस वन दिस हैज अ स्लाइटली डिफरेंट प्रोनाउंसिएशन tom it's tomb tomb the b is silent yes it is, yeah it is tomb m tomb now don't ask me why it is tomb english is quite a yeah funny and challenging language yeah so yes. tomb okay it is not tom it's tomb and all the mb words remember the b will be silent so plumber dumb Mm-hmm. Dumb, yeah, dumb. And when you say dumb, dumber, not dumber, dumber. So B is silent. Okay. ठीक है. And mm-hmm. a couple of more words. If I think we have two minutes. Okay. Your O and Sh वाले words together. Read this word out for me. Motivation. Ha. Motivation. You said it sure. perfectly. Bang on. Sure, sure. Okay. Motivation. This one. Hmm. Yeah. Attention. Perfect. Tension. Perfect. You've got the shows right now. Absolutely. Wow. Mansion. <laughs> mansion. Huh. What is a mansion? Mansion. What is a mansion? Mansion. Uh, when mansion, mansion is a huge, grand place like a palace, mansion, huge uh, house. He lives in a palatial mansion. And what is this? Mansion. Okay, this one is the mansion which I guess. I was ah, a little confused. This is mention. When you say something, when you are mentioning yeah. something, you mention that is mention the building. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So your shows are getting much better, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this one? Question. It's not shun. It is question. Question. Chen. Question. When there is question. an S. 
uh, when there is a s before the t i o n it will be question a uh, little bit sure like suggestion, suggestion. Yeah. ha suggestion suggestion ne chan suggestion ha suggestion question suggestion question we are uh, we are used to saying suggestion question but the actual pronunciation is a little bit of ch not question sure. question question somewhere in between the sh and the ch mm -hmm. okay so always when there is an s before the t i o n it is chin chin okay 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 so that was the pronunciation and vocabulary for today i guess uh, yeah it's almost time theek hai mm -hmm. good it was nice the public speaking bit was quite interesting uh, because that i think is a topic which is uh, quite interesting yeah. and perks you up right yeah mm -hmm. great like so yeah great yeah. insight session <laughs> okay <laughs> session now oh yeah session yeah you're doing good you're improving it will happen you you're there you're going you're reaching there okay yeah. <laughs> okay chalo so that ends the session for today and uh, yeah have a good weekend and maybe i'll catch you in some other session ahead yeah have a good time and take care bye bye, bye.